hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to see how we can do navigation in jetpack compose in the last video we have already done the phone authentication and i'm using the same code base to do the navigation also so let's get straight into it so what i have done here is that i have created different files and i have moved or I have shifted the code that we wrote in the last class into different files according to the different composables. For example, if you remember, there was something called login dialog and there was something called complete dialog content, which was there. And I have added this inside these two files separately over here and over here. There are some modifications inside it. I will go through this to make you understand it more clearly. The first thing that we need to do is to add the dependency in the Gradle to use to use navigation compose. As you can see, this is the dependency that I have added and this is the version, the nav version that I have used. Don't worry about the code. I will provide the entire code in the description below. You can go through my, my GitHub link provided in the description and you will find the code over there. So once we have added this and once we have synced the Gradle, we can move forward. So we'll go back to the main activity over here. What I have done is I have added a composable called app nav host. So let's see first of all what it is. So uh, what I have done here is that I have created a separate file called appnavhost.kt which is basically a composable which takes in modifier a nav controller and a start destination for which the default value is set to as login. So nav control basically helps us to navigate between different composables defined inside the nav host. So talking about nav host, you can see inside this composable, I have declared a, a, another composable called nav host, which takes in modifier nav controller and start destination. All of these are provided in the parameter for this. Inside the nav host, we need to provide all the composables that will be there in our project such that we can navigate between these composables. For example, let's say this login screen, which we created in the last video, we can call this composable or we can call this route as login. So what we need to do here inside the nav host is we need to create uh, this composable block provide the route as login and inside that we need to provide the composable for this for this screen for this route so composable is object will take the parameter as the route name and inside this we need to provide the composable that will open for this particular route similarly i have created a, another route called home and I have created another composable called home so for the home i have also created a different file called home.kt which is basically just a text which displays home that's it we have not added any ui in this but we will add in the upcoming videos when we are learning different features inside it by compose but for now we have just added the text so what happened so far is that we have created a nav host which takes in different composables or between which we want to navigate we are adding the route names and we are providing the composable for that routes okay and this app nav host as you remember is getting called from main activity which is taking the start destination so what i have done here is i'm providing the start destination depending upon if the user is logged in or not so if the user is logged in that is if auth dot current user is not equal to null we will directly open the home screen otherwise we will open the login screen so auth is the object provided by firebase auth.get instance so once we have passed the required destination it will move here it will check for the start destination it will open up that destination so let's say the start destination is login in this case since the user is not logged in it will look for this composable and this composable what it takes is it takes the nav controller this is the change that I have added from the that was not there in the last video. So login dialog not take now takes in nav controller. So if I open login dialog, you can see everything is else is same over here. This is a dialog state. We are opening the dialog. All these things were already there. Just the different change here is that in the content we are calling complete dialog content, which was also a composable we created in the last video. But it also takes a nav controller. So we are passing nav controller from the app nav host to login dialog and then to the content which will actually use it so inside this complete dialog content you can see there is a nav controller over here so now what we want to do here is that as soon as the user is authenticated 
we want to navigate the user to the home screen so in order to do that there are some changes that i have done here for example uh, on logged in clicked now also has a callback called on logged in so once the user is logged in we will get this callback and we will just call nav controller dot navigate and pass the route the route we want to open up similarly there is one more place where i have added this over here as that is once the phone number is verified so these are the two places where we have added the nav controller dot navigate so inside the on login click you can see this is the callback function which is getting triggered when sign in phone auth credential is getting called which is basically called when the phone number is authenticated automatically and the other place where it is getting called is when we are manually authenticating the user when we are providing the otp over there so you can see once this is done once sign in with phone credential authentication is done it will trigger this callback which in turn will trigger this callback and which in turn will navigate the user we can make it more structural if you want but for now i think this is fine for the sake of the demonstration as you can see it is pretty simple that you can you just have to declare the composable in the nav host and provide the nav controller to the respective composables and that's it you just need to call nav controller dot navigate to navigate the user there are different functions also let's say you want to go back in that case the function changes we will see those when it when the time comes when we are creating some other composables other screens where we are going to use the back navigation also but for now for the sake of this simple demonstration we can end it at this point where we can see that nav controller dot navigate is going to navigate the user to a different composable so now let's test this out so if you remember this was the dummy phone number if i click on send otp it opens up the captcha if you have already done it multiple times it won't ask you otherwise it will ask you to fill certain thing for me it is not asking then the otp was one two three four five six and you can see it navigated to the home screen since this thing worked since you were able to successfully navigate the user this got triggered which in turn triggered this and which in turn navigated the user to the home screen one more thing that we need to add here is this because let's say once we have logged in the user and the user has opened the home screen on clicking the back button we shouldn't be able to move back to the login screen right so if you have seen any app when the user logs in the application and moves to the home screen on pressing the back button it shouldn't open the login screen again right it should just simply close the application so for doing that we need to add this basically it's pop up to id takes in two things either the id or the route name you can give the exact route name up till which you want to and uh, up till which you want to remove the stack in the navigation similarly over here you can add this and similarly you can add this over here also once you've added this on pressing the back button it will simply close the application because there is nothing there in the stack to move back to so that's pretty much it hope you got to learn something today if you have watched till the end please feel free to subscribe the channel do like the video and share this video with your friends who are learning jetpack compose thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one bye